Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Worldwide Tennis. So this is a tennis game, it is a one to two players uh, game uh, for players ages 14 and up and it plays for around 15 minutes. So 15 minutes is the short game in, in which you play for seven points, but you can play it for a longer game, like a real tennis match, for um, rather an hour and a half with points, games and sets. So you need to win the most sets to, to win. So in, in uh, Worldwide Tennis, you're going to be a tennis man or a tennis woman and you're going to be playing against your opponent and basically it's, it's a simulation of tennis so you're going to try to whittle your opponent's stamina by uh, shooting the ball in different areas of the board. So uh, every player will have a personal deck and serve cards and these are very important because every card is going to be a stroke that you're going to perform and you also have some stars which are spendable and which allow you to lower the difficulty of some strokes. So the cards that you have in your hands and in front of you are very important. They are the bread and butter of this game. So what you will find uh, on, on the cards is uh, the area and the conditions uh, to play a card. So for example, uh, the, for, in order to play the volley, uh, I must be in the front of the court and if I want to play the baseline defense, I must be in the back of the court, so I would be there. Um, and uh, there will be also the place where the, bo the ball goes and this is very important. Finally, we have the difficulty level which is uh, in, in a hex here, in the top corner. And uh, this is very important because if you have to roll the difficulty die, which will happen if you serve or if you try to perform difficult moves and respond to difficult moves, uh, you will roll the die and this is uh, super important because you can fail some moves. Also, depending on the terrain you play on, you may have different penalties and this is kind of uh, a, big, a big deal. And finally, you will have a, a number here with some cards. At the end of an exchange, um, you are going to draw cards equal to the sum of the uh, cards that you've played. So this is how you replenish your hand and stamina, but uh, it's not as easy as it sounds. So um, let's imagine I'm going to serve. So in order to serve, I'm just going to choose any serve cards that I have in front of me and I will be able to perform that serve. I can take risks or not. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to choose not to take risks. I'm going to play this uh, serve. So I need, uh, I have a threshold of four. If I roll four or more on my d20, I can basically serve. And I can spend some stars to lower the difficulty further. But I'm not going to do it because it's a very prudent serve. So I rolled an eight, so I will be able to send a ball and I can stand the ball in any corner of the opposing court. So I've done it, my opponent can respond. So basically what you're going to do during your turn if, if the ball is in your side of the court is you can move, you can play a stroke, then you can move again. But every move is a bit different. So if you need to move too much, you're going to discard cards uh, if you want to move after uh, you have played a stroke, you will have to spend some stars. So in this case, uh, the player, uh, the, the red player can move there and can play a baseline defense. And this will allow them to throw the ball back at me. They respond with a prudent move, so uh, the stroke is going to send the ball back to me and I will uh, play again with my turn. So I'm going to play a stroke and maybe move. So um, we have some difficult strokes and some strokes will allow you to uh, put our opponent in difficulty and some strokes will force our opponent to move a lot of areas and that's very interesting because they will have to spend cards from the hand and if they are unable to respond or move they are going to lose that point and lose that exchange. So this is how you gain a point. There are three ways of losing an exchange. The first one is if you try to uh, respond or play a difficult card and that you fail on your difficulty test, you lose the point. Second one, if you don't want to move or cannot move because uh, you have no more cards in hand or whatnot, you lose uh, the exchange. Finally, if you don't want to play a card or if you cannot play a card, a stroke card because uh, you don't meet the, the conditions, um, you lose the point as well. So uh, the short games are seven points and the longer games are more like tennis matches with points games and sets. 
and the one with the most sets wins. So you have different, um, different types of games. As I told you, you may change your terrain and it's going to affect the way the players um, pull, pull, off, pull off their strokes. Finally, you can play with some players uh, which kind of change the way your deck works because you're going to remove some cards and so on and so forth. Worldwide Tennis is a game in which you have to create opportunities and try to whittle your opponent's stamina to win points, uh, managing your resources, which are your stars and the cards in your hand. Now, bye-bye. See you in Ludovic's Artifact.